What up YouTube, Drew here, back again with another video. So, last night was pretty crazy. I was on my way to work, doing the usual routine of scooting to work every day. And I noticed something while I'm a few meters away, or a few hundred meters away from our house, like uh, the rear wheel is a bit bumpy. Uh, when I'm taking turns, it's a bit sliding, so it's very unusual and when I hit to a stop to check my suspicion I put my feet planted it on the rear wheel while the scooter is standing up then my suspicions are correct I got a freaking flat tire it's gonna be my first time changing a tire alone I usually have someone to do it for me someone far more experienced so this video will be stupid simple I will break down everything that you will need in if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then let's call a friend. That's what's gonna happen. So let's see and uh, I'll show you how it works. Let's go. All right. And I'll show you the things that we will be needing to fix this. What we need to have is a 19, yeah, 19 wrench. And some cleaning materials. I'll explain to you later why. A wire cutter, zip ties, thread locker, and also, yeah, clean. Not clean. Dirty rug and a brush for cleaning as well. So, let's go. So, the first step that we have to do is to loosen these knots. Make sure that everything is loosened. When you loosen everything, one down, the other one. You don't want the nuts to be rounded off because you're using a wrong tool. Make sure you're using a size 19, just like this one. Second one down. Okay. After removing the nuts, you will see there will be a washer here that holds the the uh, the wheels in place. So you have to remove that. And I forgot to mention you'll be needing a flat screw to pry it out. Flat screw. Let's pry it out. Oh, there you go. So first one is out. Let me do the same with the second one. Right out. Brush it. Remove the dust. Second one out. We'll be needing Allen to loosen the bolts. So this is the one that I always have. I have it on my bag just in case. So aside from loosening up the, the bolts and the nuts, you have to remove the brake as well. To avoid any obstructions, you can work freely. So it's one of the stuff that you have to do. Remove the brake itself and this brake caliper. Okay, so this is what we need to remove. The brake caliper using the Allen screws. The Allen keys rather to remove the screws. Alright, first one is out. you later how to put them back together there you go so our brakes are out you will see there there are like zip ties that connects the motor uh, cable to the motor itself and uh, the use of the zip ties to keep the the cable safe from the wheel itself while it's turning now it's our turn to remove the wheel If you have some rubber mallet or anything to to move it slowly, use it to fly for it. There you go. We're able to remove it. Remove the first one. I mean, second one is still intact. 
you can see like the dirt and grime is falling down. So this is where we will be needing the cutting plier because we have to cut the cable ties. There you go. So the motor half is now out. You now have a chance to clean this. Clean everything. Using your brush, your toothbrush, use toothbrush. So what I use to clean the swing arms is soap with water, that's it. And as you can see, this is the grime that was collected throughout the months that I've been using the scooter. And as I spray it, the grimes are automatically getting removed. The grime is collected because of the grease that we are using to lubricate the suspension. Of course, grease along with dust, it's not a good combination. So it collects, builds up, and it's just not good. So let's clean it up. So there you go. We managed to clean the swing arms now. At least it's uh, clean enough so we can lubricate this later. Now we have to clean the face wires because uh, it gets dirty too and it's not good to have a dirty face wires of course at the end of the day this is where your scooter gets the power so if there's a dirt buildup there's gonna be friction if there's friction it's gonna cause damage to your wires you don't know so clean it up you won't lose anything by cleaning it up making sure that no wires are gonna get damaged and by doing so I use it I used to clean it with a toothbrush then I'm gonna wipe it off with a with a cloth make sure that the threads are clean as well so just a simple cloth so at least it's gonna be clean in the meantime, because we're gonna use the scooter daily, it's gonna collect dust. It's a repeating process in terms of cleaning. So it's not gonna be clean for a long time. But while you're at it, take advantage of the time that you're taking it apart to clean the components as much as possible. And you have to make sure as well that these two uh, washers are on the right side of the axle because you might be you might not notice that uh, you have two washers on the right side while on the left side there's only one there's a good reason for it it's two to make space for the brakes if you have enough space for the brakes then the disc will be in, in line with the caliper itself two washers on the right side one washer on the left side now let's uh, start taking apart the, the hub motor there will be small allen screws at the other side so that's the one that we will be needing to unscrew in order for us to take it apart because this is a split tire so quick fact the usual rims of e-scooters is a split type when the whole rim is co is uh, joined together by the by the bolts allen bolts and the other one is like a, a full one wherein you will be needing to use a prying tool to remove the tires from the from the rim itself from this one you can use your hands because it's a split pack so so this part right here it splits into two so it's not a whole one so if you split it, you would be able to take it apart. So full one and the split one. Fortunately, we have a split one. And this is much easier to change compared to the full one. 
because you can easily split the, the rims. But the downside is, here's the downside, here's the catch. Uh, split ones, you cannot run tubeless to it. Tubeless meaning you will still be needing to have a an interior or a tube, which is this. This is the one that we will be replacing. So tubeless setups, you don't need that kind of thing. Like you don't need a tube for the for the wheel to work. So you just stick in the, the outer tube, put air in it, make sure that there's no leaks, well sealed, then you're good to go. And they are saying, I'm not sure, they are saying that tubeless setups are less prone to flat tires. Not sure, to be honest. But so far, on the three months, four months on this scooter, this is gonna be the second time I'm running flat. The first one is my fault, so we shouldn't be counting that. This is the second one, we don't know the cost, we will figure out later what happened. So now let's take it apart. All right, so this is the flip side. So this is the thing that we need to remove in order for us to remove the hub from the rim itself. So one by one, we will remove this using this, the Allen keys. So just a reminder for the guys who run this kind of setup. Um, I'm not sure if this is happening to you guys, but it happened to me already. So you have to make sure that everything is tight because it comes loose, just like this one. Like I already lost two of them. Good thing I was able to get a replacement. So over time, by the use, as you use your scooters, you will lose all of this bolts without you knowing it. So you have to check it every time, from time to time, because it's dangerous. Like, what, what if you lose everything and the the hub split from the from the rim itself, and you're going on high speeds? It's not fun. You have to make sure everything is tight. So and now our job is to remove all of this. This one's already loose. Not sure why. Good thing. We were able to take it apart before it comes away, or it goes away, gets lost. Oh, fuck that, let's go hide for that. And there you go, we're down to the last one. Now we would be able to remove the final bolt. I don't know what this is called. Is it bolt, nut, screw? So last one down. Should be having a total of six, but I only have five. Fuck man. So that means I lost one. Yeah, I lost one. So this is how we split it. Split time. There you go. So that's how you split it. So you will see, this is the hub. This is the dirty rim. So this is our opportunity as well to clean this up. Because it's very hard to clean whenever the hub is in and the motor is intact. So let's clean it up. Then later, we will try to figure out what went wrong why we have a flat tire turns out i have six i thought i lost one so i have six of the bolts now split it and this is what it looks like and this is the tire so later we're gonna inspect this little shit we're gonna take our time now let's just clean the ribs that I use is a Yume Y11 so it's 
manufactured by Yume. In there. This is uh, one of the hottest brands right now in the market in terms of performance. So I guess, I believe that this deserves uh, some attention from from the big people out there in the e-scooter scene. Yume. So we establish a community, online community of Yume users internationally, which is called Yume Nation. Here we share our thoughts, share our experiences, ask questions, welcome everyone, of course Yume users, and discuss how can we how can we push this further? Know the limits of our e-scooters, troubleshoot. A lot of helpful people over there. So I wouldn't be taking a video of this uh, flat tire fix, but I spoke to one of the Yumi Philippines uh, member, which is Jace. She told me like, why not make a video? I don't even know how to fix a flat tire on my own. So this is gonna be the first time I'll be doing it. So that's the main point of it. You don't know, they don't know, they might not know. So why not do it? What are you gonna lose? So here we are trying to figure out how to move further on this. So far so good. I don't know how to move around with the camera, to be honest. Well, fixing stuff. Am I really fixing stuff? <laughs> so, trying to clean everything. Wipe it off because the hubs, you don't want them wet. You make them wet, you'll have uh, Nutella, <laughs> Nutella hubs. So, I'll show you the photo. <laughs> Like uh, one guy used to use his scooter, even if it's raining, he ended up having some Nutella hubs. So when Yumi Philippines rescued his scooter, when they open it up, there's like some chocolate substance that can be seen inside the motor hub. And we don't want that happening to our motor. So let's make sure that this is uh, waterproof, not waterproof, but away from the water as much as possible. It's okay to get a small splash from time to time, but dipping it in the water, submerging it, no, no. So now I'm using a wet cloth just to clean the hubs. Because there's some buildups that's happening already. We don't want that buildup to, to happen. Because they happen, the screws are gonna get stuck. You'll have a hard time removing all of them. You might, uh, you might lose the thread. That's the worst case scenario of having that kind of problem. So clean it as much as possible. Like uh, cleaning is one of the overlooked things in the maintenance. So do it when you have the chance. So the sucker is clean. What went wrong, man? What is wrong with you? Oh, shit. So, going back home, I have to run this on flat. I already have a flat tire, but I have no choice. I have to come back or else I'll be late for work. So I have to use the scooter even though it's flat. Just to come back and get a taxi, at least. So when I'm trying to press this in, no air is coming out. Very weird. But let's try to pump it up. So we will be needing a pump. So if you have a pressure gauge, uh, a tire pump that has a pressure gauge, that will be more helpful because you get to know what's the right pressure. You should know the right pressure of your tires. If you don't, you'll end up having a low battery because low pressure promotes high battery consumption or a blow up, and that's what we're avoiding. If you over pump your tires, 
there's a chance that it can blow up while you're doing high speed runs so it's not fun it's very weird man but first to be sure I don't hear any anything to be honest but first to be sure there you go but this is nothing as well so I'm not sure what went wrong why we ran out of pressure but first to be sure we will not be using this tires we'll be using a new one usually experts what they do they submerge this into water they put soap all around the inner tubes to see if there's any bubbles that's gonna appear because of the airflow but we won't do that we're in a hurry man and I don't have any sleep yet we won't do all of that so we won't use all of this we will not be needing that we might need that later on if we go flat again for now we'll be using this so it's gonna help if we will be putting a little bit of air to the tire so we can mold it in the hub it's not gonna get pinched you don't want to get pinch flat so pinch flat, uh, pinch puncture happens when some parts of the inner tube gets pinched inside the, the rim that causes the air to leak out you don't want that happening we'll leave it like this for now now let's inspect this outer tire any nails or anything that can cause a puncture this one I don't know if you can see this but this object right here looks like a stock staple I don't know if this cost my flat but we will remove it we don't have the tool for this should be I was thinking to use my wife's uh, tweezers is gonna kill me if I do so let's try to pull it out using this tool fuck that man I'm gonna use my wife's wizards she kills me no more videos for you wait there there you fucking go Wizards, so I should list this as one of the essential tools in this operation. <laughs> so we will try to pry it out. Sorry, babe, I have to use your twi twizzer. I'll just clean it, sanitize them. The man has to work, and he cannot work without a scooter. It's not easy. What I can say. There you fucking go, man. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So this thing is inside my wheel, my tire. Let's look for another one. Maybe there's another one. There's another one, man. If you let this uh, stick in there, sooner or later you will end up having a puncture again. Because this thing will will go go inside when you hit some bumps or whatever. And there you go again. Okay, another one. And this one. Let's see what this is. another metal piece you gotta be kidding me there's another one all right object number three is out yeah I think that's pretty much it we're gonna deflate this a little bit tube in we will align this 
according to the hole. There you go. There you go. So we're halfway there. Then, finally, here. And there you go. That's it. We were able to put everything back together. So now it's time for us to lubricate this part of the scooter. Usually the noise is always coming from from this part of the scooter. This is the suspension. So if it's very dry, not well lubricated, it's gonna create a noise. So since we're on the process, let's lubricate it. Since we clean it with soap. It's good to have this lubricated. All right, we're good to go. And wipe it off with a cloth. Just look at this. This is the dirt that it accumulated for the months that it's being used. So, yep. Cleaning, number one. It's part of the maintenance. We're on the process of cleaning everything. If you will notice, like the washers, the nuts, are grimy, comes along with dirt. So, let's take this chance to clean this up. We're gonna use WD-40 again. Just uh, soak it up a little bit. Put some sprays to it. Put back the washers again in its original place. Again, two washers on the right, one on the left. Now, our goal is to make sure that uh, the motor will be placed back. And uh, for us to do that, we have to make room. We have to loosen these two swing arms to pull it out outside. Pull it out outside. Pull it outside. And uh, that way we would be able to put the motors. So first to do that. Loosen the knot. This is the hardest part to be honest because uh, you have to be precise and if you're alone, just like me right now gonna be hard because everything should work into precision so one washer should be inside this can open up a bit because you have made the space and just slide it that slide it right in there you go First one's in place, use this to lock it in place. Then, open this up a little bit to get enough room. There you go. Put the locking mechanism again. For this not to go down, we can hand tight the nuts in the meantime. There you go. Alright. So we have to tighten this up again. And we can go ahead and inflate the tire. See for any imperfections. So if I can do this alone, pretty sure you guys too, because of your excuses, you have no technical knowledge. By just watching this video, you'll have an idea how the basic thing works. This is like a basic maintenance for your scooters. So this will save you money too. Aside from saving money, if you're scooting to work, you're already saving money. Plus you can do your own maintenance, so that saves you a lot of money. I'm not sure how much it costs to change your tire in your country. So, okay. watching this video, at least you'll have a brief idea how everything works. At least, you know, if you found something in this video to 
be useful for you to learn. Okay. Okay. So this is the last part. We're putting air to the tires. So our target is to have 50 PSI. So this is the rear wheel and most of my weight is here. So at this point, we're not putting uh, full pressure on the tires. We just need to even out the, the distribution the tire bead to set in. There we go. Let's check it. Tire bead looks good. Now let's put the desired PSI to it, which is 50. I always make sure to put something extra because when you remove the the adapter some air will come out so that's gonna be for the extra in we will try to run the scooter now run the scooter turn on the scooter and let's see if there's any imperfections on the wheel it should look like it's round don't mind the brakes because the brakes we will fix that later There you have it guys, so that's how you fix a flat tire on a uh, huge scooter like this. So thank you so much for joining me today, watching this video. It's a job well done for us, so again, if I can, you can too. And huge shout out to the people in the e-scooter e community worldwide god scooter by uh, andrew nunta preda e-scooter evolution uh human ph human nation for the international community uh, electric scooter dubai jace clemente your racing team all of you guys barrio barsha of course the hood <laughs> um Free Riders New York. I'm a new joining of that group. Thank you for having me there. Uh, even though I'm not from NYC. Thanks for the warm welcome. And uh, let's check the next video. So thank you so much you guys again. Peace out. Job well done.